Hi, brother. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Good, thank you. you? I'm oh, always well when I step into your shop. Thank you. Um, I haven't been here for a while. I see that you have a new sign up here, Masala Dosas. We have started uh, since last December. That's so there, was, there was a lot of demand. People they were asking, why don't you make dosa? It's very difficult to find around five miles. There's not yeah. any dosa shop. So we have started now. It's a good response because they love our dosa. Because we serve with the sambar and three kinds of chutney, coriander, coconut chutney, and bitter chutney. I'm gonna have to get one. No, sir. That's what I will say. Now go and keep it. Chana dal and ugar Soak in the water yesterday evening. Mm -hmm. These are curry leaves. This is a wine. This is jeera. Little mustard seed. All three. Little green. We don't use onion and garlic. It gives the same flavor like onion. Little salt. Curry. And salmon. Let it cook for 10 to 15 minutes. So this is the better for dosa. This we make one day before. Yeah. What does it contain? On three cups of rice, one cup of white urad, washed one, two uh, spoon, penetrate, see, you so wash it for three times, soak in the water for six to eight hours, and then grind in that grinding the grinder, yes. yeah. That takes one and a half hour, grinding. You grind it for one and a half hours? Yeah. So this machine is your grinder and you leave it on for one and a half hours? Yes. And then we keep it for whole night, covered whole night, and then in the morning is a race, grow, and then next morning we will be ready. ready to make a... So this is iron, iron uh, pot. It's a different flavor when you cook in the iron pot, especially the potatoes, the roasted potatoes. You see how nice they are to me. Nice color. It's beautiful. And now we add the coriander. Why did you sprinkle it with water first? Water just to clean it and check the temperature. Mm -hmm. If the water dries immediately, it means the temperature is okay. 
if water takes time to dry, it means the temperature is little. So you need to lay heat up more. It's, and then you just clean it with oil. Oil. Krishna devotees don't eat food outside of their home and their yeah. kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Is that true it's for true. you as well? It's true. You don't because eat out? Because first of all, they 99% in every restaurant, they use onion and garlic. And being a Brahman, being a Vaishnav, we are not supposed to touch onion and garlic. Right. So we don't eat outside. And also, I, we don't know what is their standard. What is their uh, hygienic standard? So most of the time is hidden behind doors. Here you, you know? can see nothing is hidden. Nothing. <coughs> Dada, yeah. take one plate, check me everything. This we eat. I don't want to hide anything. So you have seen my standard, even it's not high standard. You have seen my cleanliness, even it's not clean like you have seen hundred other places. You have seen what I use, mm -hmm. how my employee, how my place, everything. So I'm happy to learn something. So what have you got on here? Here is masala dosa, coriander chutney, beetroot chutney, coconut chutney and sambar. Thank you, chef. God bless you. Thank you, brother. And God let's have you. a taste and see what it tastes like. So the mashed potato perfectly cooked, even though it's got no garlic or onion, it's still very much full of flavor. You can taste the mustard seeds, you can taste the ajwine. In Gujarat, you call it ajmo. You've got a very fresh tasting taste of coriander. Very mild, there's no chili heat in there. You can taste the freshness of the coriander leaf. And you've got some additional color and flavor from the turmeric. The mustardiness from the mustard seeds, some crunch from the chana dal. Have a dosa by itself. The dosa itself, because it's freshly made and freshly served, it's got that perfect level of crispness. Because it's a fermented batter they use, so it's got that slight tanginess in there as well. And that tanginess adds to the flavor. Slightly taste the fenugreek as well, which they've used in the batter. So let's have it both together. So the dosa itself, the mashed potato filling perfectly go well together. And look at the filling. So look at the filling. Just looking at it makes you feel hungry. It's delicious. You can also taste the cumin seeds in there. It's got its own unique flavor. The ajwain, which is used in there, that's supposed to aid digestion. Even though it's not spicy hot, it doesn't have a chili heat, it's perfectly seasoned, perfectly spiced. Onion garlic has not been used. He's used hing, which is asafoetida, which is 
a perfect tasting replacement. Some little taste of the, the coriander chutney. Fresh tasting, very mustardy with the mustard seeds. You've got the unique taste of the curry leaves as well. He's used fresh coconut in this, so you've got the fresh taste of the coconut as well. I'm surprised there's no garlic in there. Almost tastes garlicky, but he doesn't use garlic. So he's got the taste almost of the garlic with using hing, and I can taste that as well. Also, I think he's used roasted chana dal in this, this one as well. It's been very finely blended, and that just adds that slight level of crunch. A fresh tasting taste of the coriander leaves just finishes off the taste of this chutney. I'm gonna have a taste of the beetroot chutney now. Colored red with beetroot itself. There's no artificial colors. Let's have a taste and see what it tastes like. So the first thing that hits you is the sweetness. Even though he hasn't used any sugar in there or refined sugars, it's got the natural sweetness from the beetroot itself. And then a slight earthiness from the actual boot root, mustardy, almost garlicky, hing, I'm guessing he's using there. I can see some curry leaves he's using there. Flavoursome, perfectly seasoned once again. I don't think I've had a beet root chutney before. It's been blended down to a very fine puree, very creamy, very rich taste of beet root. A slight hint of chili heat. It tastes delicious, unexpected. I didn't expect it to taste as good as it does the plain coconut chutney. White chutney is very similar to the green chutney without the coriander. All three chutneys are absolutely delicious. Let's have a little taste of the sambar. This sambar is genuinely tasty. You can just see the spices in there. It really packs a punch in terms of flavor. You can see some of the spices in there, you can taste the mustard seeds, you can taste the cumin seeds, you can taste the ajwain, you can taste the tanginess or the zestiness of the tamarind which he's used in there. Got the fresh tasting taste of the coriander leaf in there. It's got some, I think, additional tanginess from the tomatoes they've used in there. A very subtle chili heat. You can see some curry leaves in there as well. So having had a taste of the masala dosa with all the different chutneys and the sambar, the chutneys perfectly accompaniment the dosa itself. I'm used to having a tomato chutney in the South Indian tali. The fact that this is a big root chutney, I don't miss the tomato chutney at all. Genuinely, truly, absolutely delicious. Gonna be coming back here again. When I opened this restaurant, there was a lot of demand for dosa. Yeah. And people, they were asking, oh, you are Indian, why don't you make dosa? I said, I never cook in my life, I don't know how to make. And you are chef, so chef can learn everything. So then I had, they gave me this little encouragement. So I bought all the machineries. And three weeks, I was trying every day how to make dosa. It's not coming out nicely. So I was making and throwing, making, making and throwing, making and throwing. So one day, I said, oh, then I cannot make anything. So I switched it off everything and the whole day I was a little upset. I said, how I can make dosa? So I start praying to God. I said, God, Krishna, can you give me a little intelligence? I want to serve this dosa to people. So then I came down here, I switched it on and then I start making. What, the, what was the trick? The temperature of the, of the tamar. And very high heat, oh. it is stick. And when you try to take it out, it doesn't come out. It will stick. When it's too low, it becomes like a puffer dump. It's not a soft. So when you eat it, you right. can't chew. So then I learned, oh, it's the temperature of the tawa. So now, by Krishna's grace, Krishna mercy, everything is coming nicely. What's the name of your shop? Healthy Wealthy Indian Vegan. Why the name Healthy Wealthy? Because the health is wealth. As simple as that. 
health is wealth. Even I have a one million in the bank and I'm on the wheelchair, I'm not a rich, I'm a poor because my health is good. You see the bank, you yeah. feed this body and you will become rich. Right. Okay. Chef Pradeep, thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. God bless you. Jassi Krasna. Until next time, thank you. Bye-bye.